Welcome back to another GimpWiz tutorial, and in this tutorial I'll just be teaching you some uh, gradient effects that you could do. That uh, looks pretty cool. So, open up GIMP, and when GIMP is open, create a new project. With the default size, this should be fine. Uh, create a new transparent layer, and then delete the old white background layer. And now you want to take out your gradient tool with a blind, for the blinds for the gradient, and just draw some gradients in the background. You want about five or so different gradients on five different layers of different sizes and in varying directions. And then once you have five, let's change each mo each of the layers to overlay. And there, because then I saw uh, glare effect kind of when it, where the uh, uh, the top four blinds are intersecting with the the bottom blind. So that looks pretty good right there. But uh, it looks pretty good. It actually, it makes it look better with uh, some color. So what you're gonna want, what you're gonna want to do is uh, pick a color. You can actually use multiple colors for this. I'll start out with gold. Select the brush tool. Get a large fuzzy brush. And then on the back layer, just start uh, just start coloring in different spots. You can you can uncover some of the other uh, layers blinds with this, and you can give it a nice uh, color to it. You can change the color if you like, maybe to like uh, like red. Give it a little uh, contrast there. And you can also apply this to some of the other layers. You won't do as much if you do it to the other layers, but it'll still do some. So. This is just a basic uh, background, I guess you could use it as, for uh, this. For uh, anything, really, you can use this as anything, not really anything specific this looks good for. It just looks good in general. So now if you want to add some text, a cool text effect would be like, okay, first add the text. I'm just going to type in GIMP right here. It doesn't really matter what color it is, you're going to be changing that soon anyway. Uh, sans bold will be good, just a bold text. Make it stand out a little more. Make it a nice big size, Oops. and move that to the top. There we go. And now your, uh, what you can do is filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Uh, three use three for the Y and the X offset, and a blur radius of about seven. And the color, change it to white. Okay, and then change this first layer to overlay mode. And then this, you can uh, either lower the opacity or actually change it to overlay mode as well. But actually, no. First, you want to actually create a drop shadow of this drop shadow. So I recently used drop shadow. But this time, you want to make it black with the same settings on top. And then you want to change this white mode to overlay. Or no, so you want to change the black mode to overlay and put it on top. And you can change this white transparency down a little bit. And that gives it a nice uh, see-through effect. Just a little glare off the sides. And it looks pretty good like that. You can uh, play around with effects with the text and the background as, as however you like. So if you like this tutorial, please just rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And suggest another tutorial that you would like to see me uh, do. So this is GimpWiz for now. I'll see you next time.